today for breakfast, I'll be making a, a vegetable omelet and yeah, it's good cooking. So we got, for starch, we got a slice of toast. Um, for vegetables, we got spinach, tomatoes, and onions. For fruits, we got apple and papaya. For protein, we got our egg whites. And for fats, we got our cheese. So we put a bit of pure coconut oil in the pan for the omelet. Now we're gonna put our vegetables in. Just like that. Gonna put a little bit of salt. So I got my full meal here with the egg whites for protein, or cheese for fat, the starches, a slice of toast, and vegetables. We got our spinach, tomatoes, onions, and for fruits, we got papaya and some apple. Let's eat. I found today's breakfast to be pretty good. Um, I've never tried egg whites before, and I was actually surprised that they were actually better than eating the whole egg. And I felt pretty good after eating it because I didn't get that feeling of like being so full, I actually felt satisfied with what I ate. So I would consider eating egg whites from now on. So it's lunch time and today we're going to be making a tuna sandwich. Let's go. So for our starch, we have our whole wheat bread. For fruits and vegetables, for fruit we got our apple. For vegetables we got a um, tomato and lettuce. And for protein we have a tuna along with uh, mayo for fat. So we have a sandwich here along with a fruit and a glass of water. Let's eat. I found today's meal to be pretty good, considering it to be lunch it was pretty quick and easy to make and it would really come in handy especially when when you're in a hurry and you need to get somewhere so yeah i would stick to making two to sandwiches once in a while along with a set of fruit especially if i'm in a hurry or something it's dinner time and today we'll be making chicken soup let's get cooking so for starch and fat we have the tortilla and cheese that we're going to turn into a quesadilla for fruit, we have a, a nectarine. Uh, for vegetables, we have potatoes, zucchinis, carrots, celery, and all that other good stuff. And for protein, we have a chicken. So we got the cooked chicken. We're about to put in vegetables. We need them all the time because we don't want to get spot. Our vegetables, our protein, our starches, and fats all in one meal. Let's eat. Well, my food today meal to be pretty good uh, in comparison to the other meals I've had because I haven't had food on the side. It actually makes a big difference because um, it gives you a lot more energy that I need. And I've never, and uh, with the quesadilla, I've never actually eaten the quesadilla with corn tortillas, which is actually a lot better than eating it with a with a flour tortilla because with a flour tortilla it just it doesn't you don't really get a lot of taste of the quesadilla but you get a lot more taste with the corn tortillas so I feel like I'm gonna start eating more food with food on the set you know so I went out and got myself a whole wheat bread chicken sandwich let's see what we got so for a starch I got me a whole wheat bread for fruits and vegetables I got tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. And for oils, I got avocado. And for fruit, I have myself an apple. So I found the chicken sub to be really good. Uh, usually when I went to Subway, I would order the beef and cheese sub. And um, now that I tasted the chicken sub, it was actually really good compared to 
the beef sub that I used to order. I used to also used to order with um with with Italian bread and uh, now they try the whole wheat bread and the chicken and all those fruits and vegetables. Um, I actually decided I'm gonna start eating that chicken sub instead of eating the meat uh, the beef sub. Yeah.